So tonight, News 6 investigates the technology authorities credit for putting a suspected serial killer behind bars. We brought the breaking developments at noon today. That's when Volusia County investigators announced they officially charged Robert Hayes with the deaths of three women in Daytona Beach more than a decade ago. Now at 11, News 6's Nikki Zizaza is looking into what helped detectives piece together this cold case. Nikki? Well, Matt and Lisa, detectives say for years they've exhausted all available avenues to identify the Daytona Beach serial killer. But it wasn't until they turned to DNA that they got a hit. Tonight, prosecutors and detectives credit investigative genealogy for zeroing in on the previously unknown suspect. If it were not for DNA, investigators say suspected serial killer Robert Hayes may have escaped capture. It's an incredibly powerful technique and there is hope for the families that are still waiting for answers if there is DNA in those cases. On Thursday, Florida Department of Law Enforcement officials say new DNA technology helped link the 37-year-old to the decades-old murder cases in Daytona Beach. Our genetic genealogy program has been in existence for one year. Hayes is behind bars facing a murder charge in Palm Beach County in connection to the death of a woman in 2016. Detectives then turned to genetic genealogy and collected a cigarette butt Hayes used and threw away to get a sample of his DNA. Using a public DNA database, investigators got a hit, matching Hayes' DNA to DNA from a biological relative of his. The DNA profiles indicated that they were the same suspect. The same suspect committed the Daytona cases as well as the Palm Beach case. Prosecutors charging Hayes with first-degree murder with a firearm in the deaths of Laquita Gunter, Julie Green, and Iwana Patton, who detectives say were killed between 2005 and 2006. A DNA breakthrough, officials say, will help capture future criminals. And today, prosecutors announced they plan to seek the death penalty. They say ballistic evidence also helped connect the crimes. Investigators are still investigating another fatal shooting that happened in 2017 that could be linked to Hayes. Live in the studio, Nikki Zaza getting results. New 6, Matt Lisa. Nikki, thank you.